Hi friends, I am back, made it back, uh, recording on a, I guess, good microphone, so called, so, so to say, happy to be back, I hope you all doing great, thankfully we are not in a World War 3 situation, which makes me very happy, so far so good, I think, uh, let me just touch on, on this, I think one of the reasons why we are not in World War Three situation is because, like I was saying in one of the podcasts, regular people don't want war, and whoever wants to push World War Three situation, it's kind of difficult for them to push it, because basically nobody wants it, and I'm very happy about it, please be, be vocal, vocal about all of this sort of stuff, because believe it or not, doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, we don't need wars. Thank you very much. Say no to war. I think everybody can get behind this message. Accept people that profit from it. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, today I will break down. Hopefully, I will try to break down because I'm not saying I'm going to uh, for sure break it down. But I will actually try to tackle mm, the major point why we live in upside down world twilight zone episode in a movie and basically i will try to pinpoint all of that stuff and once again it's a hugely layered multi-layered issue with a lot of smaller bigger details nuances and it's not so simple to break it down but I will give it to you right away, like the blanket statement to it all. The reason why we in such a weird time is that humans in general lost connection to nature, to real tangible nature. And that's a bl blanket statement. But if you really contemplate on it, uh, more and more humans really lose connection to nature and obviously uh, many people are connected to nature many people you know go hiking go fishing enjoy you know just a natural connection even you know going sunbathing can be a connection to nature going to a beach can be a connection to nature but uh, the what i mean though uh, let's say a couple hundred years ago or a thousand years ago or maybe even a little farther back people were in tune with nature for uh, for example like in North America uh, native Indians uh, they basically worship nature right and you know their whole whole livelihood and not only them, basically all indigenous uh, cultures and people that had to live off of the land, live within uh, coexistence with unison, <coughs> with nature. So back in the day, people, there was no choice. People had to be connected to nature. And one thing, that's another food for thought. Do you think our uh, natural evolution the way we were made you think we were made more to be connected to nature and coexist with nature or for example we were made to make money you know and maybe that's like a stupid comparison but when you break a lot of things down modernity is sort of uh, it kind of comes down to money so and obviously it's and let me say this right away everything i will say i am generalizing i know not everybody's like that but i truly believe what i will talk about is not minority it's actually majority and unfortunately and i you know i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm mistaken but i truly believe and you know one of the reasons uh, why I say it's majority, not minority, is because last three years, 
we've been going through really interesting times and it's getting only more and more interesting thankfully you know at least we don't have some sort of crazy restrictions and lockdowns uh, as of right now so you know on one hand the new normal which obviously it's also like yet another ah uh, i don't really want to get into it i will talk about it a little bit uh, here and there for sure but i would i don't really want to get but you know but new normal what are we talking about you know let's just basically live our lives and you know not even believe stuff like new normal new uh, uh, new normal is another sort of uh, construct but let me get get back on the point so in my opinion our natural existence our instincts uh meaning of life uh, is basically simple things you know survival food sex uh, what else maybe shelter kids you know and there is not that much more to it and you know when you say those simple things and uh, of course enjoying nature itself uh, being within the nature um, soaking in the sun you, uh, for example sun gives you b12 or maybe it's vitamin uh, excuse me that's my mistake i think it's vitamin d and <laughs> another d disclaimer sorry i'm not an expert i'm not a doctor and obviously a lot of things i say uh, might not be exactly thousand percent foolproof and i could be making mistakes here and there sure of course just in case i'm saying you know because and i don't take myself too seriously i'm not here to tell you i know better this and that i'm just sharing my experience my perspective and my understanding on it all and i'm one of those people who went through a lot of shenanigans in my life and i was able to come out of it uh, you know better stronger faster and i believe that makes me a type of person who can kind of speak on all of those sort of issues sort of maybe not but at the end of the day this there's also such a small thing that's uh, called freedom of speech and you have a choice to listen or not and you are welcome to do either or i do not force anybody to do anything and i'm not for forcing anything but i am for certain restrictions as well and i'm also for certain limitations i am uh, i you know like i'm a type of person long story short i believe in balance and going back to nature nature is all about balance one way or another you know even like a simple thing if let's say you have too many rabbits and you don't have enough wolves you know there could be like an infestation of rabbits and they could destroy crabs this and that or if you have too many wolves and not enough rabbits wolves could start attacking people and you know so basically nature is all about balance and when you mess with nature and you get that balance out of whack things you know become really shaky and what i'm saying is that's what's happening with our civilization and that's why all of this sort of stuff is really shaky right now is because we lost natural connection and also balance but that's not only thing that's one of the factors another factor is basically on an individual level in my opinion very not many people in today's times uh have like self-understanding even even self-worth uh but that's but it's not only that it, you know uh, ability to critically think you know some people 
technically speaking, I believe pretty much everybody has an idea and knows what critical thinking is, but I don't think that many people actually use critical thinking. Why? Because if people would use critical thinking, half of this, even like the worst situation that's happening, if people, if people truly would be using critical thinking, that war situation would not be happening at all. And I don't even mean Ukraine, I, I mean any war out there, period. You know, wars is like a really outdated, uh, barbaric uh, method of I don't know, like a special interest, ga gaining power, resources, whatever you call it, uh, under the skies of some sort of, let's say, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, or, you know, straight up, uh, straight up dic dictatorship type of moves, regimes type of thing. But long story short, in my opinion, most people, as a default, are somewhat good. I don't think there's that many people that just want to straight up kill people. I don't really think so. I, I, be, I believe for most part, as a default, most people don't really want to kill anybody. And most people don't want war, period. So why do we have wars and you know i talked about this so i don't really want to get into it too deep so maybe let me, let me bypass this but yeah so you yourself self-understanding that's another huge aspect of it all why the so basically all of this craziness uh, all this shenanigans with the virus with the masking with the vaccines uh, you know, and even political the right versus left, uh, racism, even at this moment we have this abortion issue. You know what's funny? Poland had the same issue like a year and a half ago, which to me is hilarious because it literally seems it's like a political card like a political game card to pull out when they want to distract people from other issues. And uh, like I was saying, war, war, uh, war is, un uh, you know, and I, once again, let me say this just in case, I am not for wars, all the wars are horrific, and I'm against any wars, and I believe any sort of war is straight up stupid, like literally retarded literally and don't get me wrong i am actually for the army and i have nothing and res nothing but respect for soldiers and you know thank you to the soldiers thank you to people that fight fight for the right cause and i am all for armies and soldiers within certain extent Yes, but I'm not for wars, especially wars for profit, yari yari, yari yari, right? Going back to self-understanding. So one of the thing today, we are distracted on every level. Like I was saying, you know, all this political, this basically on every level we are di distracted, and not only that, we are basically bombarded by polarization polariz uh, and polarization is everywhere from diet to politics from transgender to gay from racial issues abortion uh, you know if you look at today times polarization is everywhere even so-called alternative news that gives you the real news, in my opinion, they promote polarization themselves, even if they give you sort of, uh, and in many ways, true, honest news, in my opinion, they present it in a way that they add fuel to the fire. And what I mean, 
they trying because the way they present it in my opinion i could be wrong but i'm kind of confident about it they want to outrage you so instead of just uh, presenting the issue and maybe giving a solution they in many instances what is shown is like oh you should be outraged and they don't give you any solution just uh, it seems that the outrage the uh, the desired outcome is outraged outrage so you know once again the polarization is a huge issue and basically that works on all levels in my opinion because even when we're talking uh, when we're going back to self-understanding this and that people have this notion that uh, that's another aspect of polarization it, uh, a lot of people have this sort of mindset that either you're smart or stupid and and basically that's that's what you stuck with either you're stupid or smart intelligent or not either you are athletic or not either you are good at math or not either you good at painting or not and what many people do not realize with practice with uh, skillful uh, with good approach uh, with just when you apply yourself to the art when you apply yourself to the sport when you apply yourself to the skill to the trade over hours days years of practice you can actually achieve mastery at it and at the beginning you could be really bad at it but if you apply yourself you can evolve to a master level but once again uh, there is this notion that uh, either you this or that and once again i'm just gonna repeat myself so people don't get me uh, you know they just don't misunderstand I'm generalizing I'm not saying everything is exactly like that but another aspect to it all all of this also news media social media politics all of this sort of stuff is attacking our instincts and emotions which also limits our ability of critical thinking and logic you think all of this is a coincidence you know when you watch news media social media it seems that majority of all this programming all this influence this and that is basically targeting our emotions and instincts and even stuff maybe kind of not related but in my opinion is very related even things like sex us tits you know all of this is instincts and emotion and distraction and i believe and on top of it all uh, as we merge with technology or maybe we not even merging with technology we're just basically propelling technology to take over and we are byproduct of technology possibly it it seems also that we are losing ourselves to technology so there is so many factors to it all but in my opinion the reason why i start we lost connection to nature because in my opinion if we connect to nature and we start from that and disconnect you know limit ourselves from media limit ourselves from, from technology limit ourselves from all crazy entertainment uh, and you know like scare uh, scary stuff scare tactics um you know and also the uh, once again polarization you know good versus bad you, you know all of this sort of stuff if we just basically limit all this craziness and reconnect with nature and reconnect with ourselves there is actually a chance to to level yourself out and basically reset and be able to sort of get things 
have a more of a balanced understanding, more of a level view, more of a level perspective, and then you can understand a lot of things around you much better. But once again, we are kind of overwhelmed with all of this, even going back to media. You, we are bombarded with everything, good information, bad information, misinformation, outrage, even, you know, e that's bad, but even, even like uh, funny blooper videos uh, that are on a loop and from a never ending scroll and somebody's watching for hours at the time. As an entertainment value, maybe that's good. But as a attention span, as a, you know, it's it's affecting our minds, is affecting our dopamine levels, is affecting our attention span. So what so what I'm saying, we are becoming dependent on technology, and we actually becoming addicted to many aspects of technology that are not good, and all of this is affecting us immensely. And in my opinion, many people do not even realize they have uh, they they are affected. Maybe they have an issue is a statement that's not necessary, but we all are affected in and in my opinion, in a big way. For example, I can tell you I'm affected in a big way and I am aware of it. So imagine if you're completely unaware of it. You know, and I am aware of it and I'm trying to limit my exposure to Internet, exposure to social media, exposure to overwhelming amount of, you know, scrolling and all of this sort of stuff. And I still cannot resist and I still lose hours of my time to this mindless entertainment. Yeah. And, you know, uh, we are facing so we are facing sort of unprecedented times, but also, in my opinion, another answer to it all is basically upside down. Everything's upside down. So I used to think that modernity is the way to go. Modernity, like modern medicine, modern technology, modern politics, period, is just is the name of the game and it's all about bettering human race, bettering evolution, bettering our existence, this and that. But now as I grow older and I look into this craziness and I see how world is revolving, how, how everything's happening, unfortunately, it seems like everything's upside down. Like it seems that modernity is literally messing things up and not completely, like I said, Technology is a double-edged sword. It gives us a lot of great things. but So there is a lot of great advances thanks to technology. But also, because of technology, people are not building stuff. They're not creating stuff. They're not hunting. They don't know how to grow food. They, you know, many people have no idea how to build a house. They have no... You know, so there's so many things that technology is making us literally futile and we are moving deeper and deeper into all of this uh, we are even losing our um what's the name uh, i forgot the exact name but uh, we are we are lacking in self-expression we are lacking so basically because everything's easier which supposed to be good is actually bad and when life is harder so there is this saying right hard times hard men easy times soft men and in a nutshell that's sort of what's happening but like i was saying there's a lot of layers to it and i hope i can sort of break it down and i c uh, won't confuse people too much but yeah self-connection to nature is amazing and you see many people in today times they are they feel unhappy depressed many people don't have meaning of, of they don't really know what is their meaning 
and they lose themselves in drugs in let's say porn or you know alcohol um even you know different addiction vices you know obesity all this sort of stuff people lose themselves in it and they don't really have motivation drive uh, you know men many men obviously not everybody many men are just uh, you know becoming female like they too much estrogen too much soy not enough movement not enough testosterone all of this sort of stuff and guess what could help connection to nature even just going out hiking and even the simplest things so for me recently over the last two years i connected with nature more than ever before i always was somewhat connected to nature but never in a deep profound level and last two years i've been lucky enough to connect to nature in a reasonably profound level because i still haven't uh haven't done stuff like living in the woods uh, meaning survival s situation and i haven't lived off of the land and stuff like that but i have come closer to nature than ever before and guess what that cleared my mind body and soul and that's another thing when we're talking to about self-understanding it's all about mind body and soul and all of this needs to be uh, basically connected in unison in order for you to be somewhat a balanced individual plus natural connection you know understanding that nature you know we are alive thanks to nature and nature is the most important thing for us all because without nature we won't be alive and we live in a world of uh, basically like a materialism consumerism money system where actually nature in certain circles in certain situation is not as important as money but guess what at the end of the day you cannot eat money you cannot eat bitcoin you cannot eat numbers in the computer you know what i'm saying you cannot breed money you cannot breed bitcoin yari 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 you cannot swim and wash yourself with money you know yari 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 and what i'm saying is nature is the life force that's true true gold and nature has been evolving and developing for billions of years and basically the ecosystem everything that is the way life is one way or another it has been created by nature and nature has pretty much all the answers encoded within principles of itself principles of nature basically have all the answers the issue is once again we lost the connection and once again the modernity i remember when i was younger a kid basically between 10 12 years old i used to think let's say modern medicine is million percent better than alternative medicine but now i kind of see opposite i think and you know it's kind of stupid because alternative medicine is like a in my opinion not a right word because in my opinion natural medicine is the medicine and i'm not saying in every single case that medicine will always work because there are advances of medicine that let's say once i had a staph infection and i even uh, so i had a big issue with uh, battling it and a it was getting bad and thankfully i got on anti antibiotics on the right time and i was able to recover just fine and i didn't spread it or anything 
but and basically that's what i'm saying in that case modern medicine works and i'm thankful for it and i'm not gonna shed on it completely but the issue is in ma in many other cases modern medicine you know the way a lot of that stuff works is for profit conflict of interest and you know we we kind of and it's also not about preventing the disease stopping the disease in the in the tracks or even reversing the disease is more about basically keeping you not making uh, basically not letting you die but also kind of prolonging and stuff so you are the uh, you you can consume you 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 are at the co consumer for life and long story short so healthcare industry has no profit from healthy people they have profit from sick people so once again conflict of interest and that's not that's basically like a disconnection from nature right and people in the cities people in modern existence especially people connected to all this uh, media stuff or uh, overwhelming exposure and you know i had this let's say like a decade ago i was very much lost confused brain fog all of and i knew something's wrong with me i couldn't really understand what it was and th there was mo multitude of things but one of the biggest things uh, there was like two like about three or four things one thing for sure overwhelming exposure to media all sorts of media overwhelming right that's one two was bad diet just terrible diet definitely big point to it all three uh let me think about it uh abuse of drugs because you know i never been like a junkie like a complete ad addict with drugs but i have abused drugs and i used to think that's not the case but now as i look back at my old self i have abused drugs and three lack of discipline so yeah and even things like discipline so basically that's going back to upside down world many people see seek comfort pleasure indulgence and they see it as a good thing but that's very bad for you and in the long run you are not doing yourself a favor if you seek those things once again comfort pleasure indulgence and if you actually seek discipline uh you know doing hard things uh forcing yourself uh, uh you know facing adversity all this sort of stuff going the hard way um taking risks for most part and almost always that is beneficial to you but as a default if you think about it you might assume it's opposite that the good you know like and another thing that goes with it i probably said that in one of the podcasts but i'm gonna repeat it we people in general we choose what feels good rather than what's good for us so basically it seems that today modern existence is more about convenience more about just you know comfort pleasures uh losing yourself even going back to drugs uh you know people are either high or drunk or they abuse food or they abuse porn you choose your poison but almost everybody has like some crazy vice and i think all of this sort of stuff all of those vices all of those drug problems all of all of those depressions imbalances all of that is directly connected to disconnection from nature and also once again disconnection from yourself because if you don't know yourself 
if you don't have balanced perspective, balanced understanding of yourself, and if you do not know who you are as a person, you don't really have an identity, you don't, and you know, for example, I don't really have, uh, me personally, I don't really have like an idea, oh, I need to be this or I need to be that. But I know one thing, I need to be myself and I need to follow my heart. And that's what I do and I'm very fulfilled for it. Here and there I suffer because of it and my life is a ro roller coaster as well. But I'm a very content individual because I am true to myself and I follow my heart and Believe it or not, even if I die tomorrow, I will be extremely content with what I achieved and what I did in my life because I have this connection. I have connection to nature and I have connection to myself. And I believe all of this imbalance is basically based on all of that, that people are missing that in their life. And on top of it, many people are not aware of it. So please contemplate on this. And unfortunately, once again, going back to modernity, modernity is kind of suppressing that, you know, many people. So, for, so, you know, education system, science system, technology system, uh, even political system, uh, me, you know, like media, entertainment, uh, also consumption system, all of this stuff, you know, if somebody is making profit out of cons uh, consumers and all of that. They don't want you to be self-sufficient. They don't want you to uh, enjoy little things that are very fulfilling. They want you to chase material stuff. They want you to be a consumer. They want you to be a worker. They want you to basically consume, consume, consume. And believe it or not, you could uh, disagree with me, but I am convinced I am right with this. If all you have in life is like materialistic goals, you will never be content. Never. Because even if you buy, let's say, that Ferrari, the minute or maybe the month later you buy that Ferrari, you're going to be like, yeah, it's great, but... I need something else. You know, you will feel empty hole in your, you know, whatever it is. And basically, so at the end of the day, the chasing toys, chasing materialism, consumerism is basically a social construct that supports government, big companies and the system. And once again, humans are not to make, they are not built to make money. You know, humans are here to exist within the nature. And, you know, even simple things like using your body, running, walking, uh, even physical labor, even doing push-ups, all this sort of stuff, even breathing exercises, taking a swim in the river, soaking in the sun, uh, you know, walking bare feet in on the grass, hiking, all this sort of stuff. If you connect with the nature and you actually understand the true connection, the value of it, all of this stuff is priceless. And basically, in my opinion, all of us are made, basically are made to, you know, coexist and be part of this whole ecosystem. And what's promoted with the consumption money system, the industrial evolution, uh, uh, revolution type of stuff is not really enjoying those little things, is basically consuming and chasing materialistic stuff. And another issue with all of this, if we, be, if we would just get what we need, that'd be fine. But in today time, we it's all about acts like to basically overwhelming. So personally, I can speak out of if I have too much stuff and I literally have too much stuff, it gives me anxiety. And the less I have, actually, the better I feel. 
I, you know, I don't really want more stuff. I actually want less stuff. I would like to have a house, for example. That's one materialistic thing that I would really like to have. And eventually I will have. But other than that, I don't want and need much more. May, maybe, you know, like a car. So just the things that are ne like a necessity. But other than necessities, I don't need and even want anything more. Obviously, I have some certain things, technological things, let's say photography, I'm into photography. I want stuff, extra stuff from photography, sure. Things uh, that help me do podcasts and help me do my so, uh, social media stuff. Yes, I'm a hypocrite talking about all of this stuff and I'm uh, in it. Yeah, but I, at least I understand I'm a hypocrite. I want some of that stuff, sure. And also tools, the uh, tools for uh, basically carpentry tools and construction tools I also like but once again all within limit and I don't have that thirst need for new better faster stronger thing no let's say with photography my camera is amazing right but if I'll be thinking oh it's not as amazing as this camera it's not as amazing as that camera this and that I would be already buying a new camera like year and a half ago and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use my camera for at least a year or two longer if not even longer than that because although technically speaking uh, certain things maybe my camera is lacking here and there but overall is an amazing piece of equipment and I don't really need that much more yeah i could use you know more of this more of that more megapixels more power more uh, resolution whatever it is but i don't really need it and that's the thing you know many people you know chasing that rolex chasing gucci this and that but do you really need it and on top of it i understand if you really rich and you just spend on it sure but what's crazy is that people don't have money and they spend like three thousand dollars on a gucci bag that's madness. That is literally definition of madness. And I don't want to be, I don't want to offend people, but that's truly definition of madness. You know, you should spend that $3,000 of necessities, things you really need. Do you really need that $3,000 Gucci bag? And, you know, that goes into the money system and consumption system and just the system of, you know, banking and also modernity is that, we kind of are led to believe that happiness can be bought and if you're rich you're going to be happy no that's a that's a myth thousand percent it's a myth and once again little things like connecting to nature will make you way more happy than 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 most material stuff maybe not any because you know there's there are material things that will make you very happy for sure i'm not saying no but overall, uh, that's not true that, oh, you, you're going to get a Gucci bag and then you're going to be fulfilled. Get the fuck out of here. Seriously, get the fuck out of here. And if you think that you need to reconsider your goals and reconsider your perspective, because seriously, it might be very possible that your mind is manipulated by somebody that, you know, has interest in you being a consumer and spending uh, money on over extremely overpriced products and basically you're paying for the brand for now and pretty much for nothing else yeah and it seems that people are basically affected by that it's you know another concept about money money in many ways like even with technology is a double-edged sword it's a system that if it's used right is great and you know we can exchange things liquid currency this and that it's not all bad there are good things about it undoubtedly the issue is when you basically center focus on money and basically everything comes down to money we get to trouble like war for profit killing people for money or kids dying because it's not profitable to help them simple as that 
And, you know, people literally worship money. And what's crazy, people worship people with money, which also is ridiculous as fuck. It seems, you know, that to me is just mind boggling because, you know, many people with money made it and, you know, they were, um, uh, they make some groundbreaking stuff. Some, there are people like that. But also many people with money, they basically know how to use the money to grow their money. And, you know, when you play Monopoly and you basically have uh, most of the board and you have the extra resources, this and that, basically, it's you basically are destined to win and you're taking over this and that. And that's what's happening. Uh, many of those billionaires, they already have a hand up because many bi billionaires and many, many riches of the rich people, not all of them, of course, but many of them actually come from money and, you know, they know how to use and abuse the system. And that's how they truly become billionaires. If not that, a lot of times, and obviously innovation, all of this stuff, also possible and also happens. But in many ways, a lot of that stuff is, you know, not as grandiose as many people would like to believe. And a lot of times, you know, people go over other people. They are very nasty. They, you know, they steal ideas, this and that. And we and people worship those people. People think so somebody like Bill Gates. I don't know. I, I don't have tangible evidence this and that but even if i look at the guy he's pure evil right and some people and he has no credibility as a scientist right and people listen to him about vaccine advice and he and obviously he has conflict of interest with all of this and people still some people still actually believe this guy and what i'm saying that's the point People look up to billionaires like they are prophets, which is just ridiculous. It's mind boggling. I don't even understand it. But unfortunately, we are in this system where, you know, unfortunately, it is oftentimes it matters more what you have than who you are, which is another mind boggling statement, which is also true of of course, not in every instance, but it is true. And oftentimes it is very true. Yeah, and, you know, and all of this is disconnecting us and is disconnecting us from nature and disconnecting us from our spirit. And, you know, we need to have basically in order to reconnect, right? In my opinion, we need to basically question ourselves. And so, for example, in my opinion, we are heavily manipulated by the, like I was saying, polarization, media, social media, even food, the, our dietary choices, stationary lifestyle, all of this stuff is affecting us immensely. Even the social uh, pressure, groupthink mentality, the money system, all of this is affecting us big time. And in my opinion, you have to break yourself. So we all me included i'm not you know and i'm everything i'm talking about i am in it as well and that's why i'm talking about it because i break down my own understanding and after i break down i am my own experiment and i experiment things on myself i experiment experiment with new diets i experiment with new philosophies i experiment with new lifestyles i experiment with new life routines i experiment with new exercise uh you know running uh, boxing brazilian jiu-jitsu hiking fishing b uh, you know biking mm, free weight exercises uh, calisthenics stretching even yoga breathing sauna all of this sort of stuff so you know basically you need to open yourself and in order, so this grandiose idea, which I talked about many times, saving the world, 
is just an abstract virtue concept that's probably not even plausible but the only uh, possibility to at all we maybe could change things and maybe we could save the world but the only way to really do it is if everybody starts with themselves within themselves and start fixing their own bullshit and understanding themselves understanding what they're missing in life understanding what they need in life so for example if you live a very stationary life you have no physical activity you, you are not happy with your body you eat bad uh, basically a lot of things are not you know uh, there is some sort of disconnection you you're not doing your mind body and soul a favor you need to start fixing you know that situation you need to uh, tackle that that problem within yourself and then maybe you can focus on grandiose idea let's triple job triple mask and save the world and once again triple jobbing triple masking and you know supporting big pharma supporting tyranny and all of that stuff is saving the world once again upside down world and once again because we are disconnected from reality somehow we don't see the connection but that's what i'm saying we need to begin with ourselves and if we begin with ourselves and if we understand that we can be easily manipulated we can you know uh, by instincts emotions and a lot of different situation even like i was uh, saying draw uh, abusing drugs uh, the outrage racism you know the social issues the even abortion war situation it's all a distraction and in reality we need to focus on ourselves but in, in not completely narcissistic way just to better ourselves you know to become a better stronger version of ourselves and when we become a better stronger version of ourselves we will become like a strong individual who will easily uplift people you know haters are people with a huge potential that they never realize it and they hate on other people because they know it could be them but they are too weak to really do things and once again discipline work ethic all of this sort of stuff it might sound like a bad thing but it's, it's a immensely good thing and not only that when you work up your uh, discipline and work ethic ethic many chores are not chores they just basically motion of the uh, motion of the ocean or muscle memory you, so basically all the hard things that you imagine they are really hard they become effortless if you devote yourself to it then you know you need some discipline same thing with food you know people prefer eating garbage and they literally want to eat garbage over good nutritious food and you know it's not only fault of the people because you know the whole food industry literally what they are doing is criminal and i even mean so-called health food industry so basically all the food industry in my opinion one way or another is one way or another is all for profit and even even if they promoting health and helping you with the health your health is not their interest what's their interest is profit from you basically and all the food uh, section subsection this and that their interest is profit and once again that's disconnection from nature nature is not made for profit nature has such a thing as resources but resources and profit and money is like a little bit different and quite a bit different please check out george carlin he has a bit about it he talks about uh like uh i don't know like uh uh what's the name like a uh, economical depression right so he says and i'm not gonna do justice please google george carlin and watch george carlin best bits because that that guy is genius 
But what he talks about, so when you have an economical crash, right? You know, the money system goes all crazy, people lose this, lose that. But basically, m money is one way or another mostly based on resources and also, you know, our time, this and uh, you know, our time and hard work, uh, and s stuff like that. But at the end of the di day, is basically resources, you know, like, uh, and so money is basically a translation of other things and the money itself has no value at all <laughs> you know it's either our time or resources and maybe some other things that i cannot uh, that i cannot recall at this moment and the way he describes it is like okay you're building a house right and you you have all the materials right but you're missing inches, but you have all the materials. And you say, oh, I'm missing inches, so I cannot build a house. Although I have all the materials, I cannot build a house because I'm missing inches, you know? And to a degree, if you really wanna be anal about it, you could argue, oh, but you're not gonna measure the material, this and that, you're missing inches, this and that. But the point is this, that the system of money, so-called monetary system, is sort of kind of not exactly thousand percent but in a huge way it's pretty much fake <laughs> and you know we are manipulated by it and you know like this economical crashes this and that you know it's like um like george carlin was saying we have all the materials this and that but we're missing inches please contemplate on it i i'm not even gonna get into it but you do your own research look into banking look into fiat system and basically look into consumerism materialism and all of that stuff yeah you know and just uh, and another thing spirituality meditation mindful uh, uh, mindfulness breathing exercises even things like taking a cold shower or going into cold water you know face uh, basically doing hard things or do a lot of things that seem to be not pleasant believe it or not if you do them and you do them um systematically they are actually great for you and you know calming your mind and being mindful and having like a calm understanding of reality around you is crucial you know if you don't have that once again you know people don't even know who they are they don't even know what to do with themselves that's why they lose themselves in drugs and all the all of this stuff once again disconnected from nature and yeah you know and even once again exercising moving your body having that connection that unison you know mind body and soul if you exercise if you have good physical activity and you eat good all of this stuff you connect all of this you know if you never do that you cannot even comprehend what big of a difference all of that makes and that's the issue i used to be fat so i speak out of experience when I was fat, I was 310 pounds, uh, you know, and when people, when I would hear, oh, you, because I felt sort of good for, for a long time, I felt good being fat, but I didn't realize there is actually a difference between having a fit body and, you know, being full of energy, having, you know, uh, faster, like a more of a just uh, when you are in shape everything works more efficiently your energy level your mind your brain your uh, uh, you less uh, basically you are more motivated and basically your whole life existence becomes more optimized and when you are overweight, this and that, your body is jeopardized. And the issue with all of this is that people get accustomed to, you know, 
abusing food, abusing sugar. And one way or another, sooner or later, I speak out of experience that happened to me. I've been addicted to sugar. I've been addicted to food. And I know what I'm talking about. So many people get addicted to sugar or addicted to food or addicted to their vices. The thing is, when the habit becomes, you know, like second nature, when you do this for years, you don't want to let it go. You feel like this is the way of life. And maybe it's not even you. Maybe it's the habit, you know, the addiction basically taking over your, your, you know, your mind, basically, you know. And the same thing goes for technology right now. We are literally glued to, to technology that is basically is taking away our minds. You take it however you want it, but please contemplate on it because you have to, f like I was saying, going back to facing yourself and facing your demons, facing all of your insecurities and all of your problems, this and that, you have to begin with yourself. You basically have to start asking yourself those questions. Am I addicted to food? Am I, do I have a problem with food? Am I doing enough physical exercises? Do I have a good circle around me? Do I have good influence around me? Is my mi mind in a good place? Is it clear? Am I educating myself? Am I doing m myself a misservice by watching some crazy bullshit TV shows or whatever, right? Am I... <clears throat> Am I affected by technology? Am I affected by social media? Am I affected, you know, and for most part, I'm sorry to say, but pretty much is most of people in modern existence, they are very much affected by at least one of those factors, if not pretty much all of them, all of the above. But many people have no clue or many people like to deny it or so that's another thing. If you are sure you don't have a problem, most likely you have a problem and it's either your ego or addiction trying to stop you from facing the problem, basically, you know. And if you don't face the problem and, and if you do not really realize the problem, you will basically be in a spiral and, and you know, most likely downward, down, downward spiral and you will never come out of it. So yeah, uh, facing yourself and basically asking that question, you have to, basically you have to begin within yourself and, you know, and another thing is all of this discipline, all of this, all of this is one step at a time. Rome was not built in one day. And that's another thing with technology. Technology makes everything so simple, so, eff so effortless, even, even things like drugs, this and that, they give you instant pleasure, food, instant pleasure. We are wired to get pleasure instantly, to get things instantly, but it's all an illusion and it's like a fallacy that we start to feel that if we don't get things uh, in a moment, it's not worth it. But guess what? Long run, in the long run, the, you know, instead of doing a sprint, you're doing a marathon. Believe it or not, if you have that approach, one step at a time, long run, this and that, it will be way better for you and you will be, it, it will be much easier for you to cope with the life. And that's another aspect of it all, why today, you know, like modern people, young people have such a huge issues, more, more tattoos than brain cells, yellow, blue hair, all over the place, transgender, this and that. And I'm not trying to hate, I don't have, you know, once again, I'm, I'm going to repeat this once again. I don't have problems with gay people. I don't have problems with trans transgender people. You know what I have a problem with? All of this being promoted like it's normal. Sorry, but once again, going back to nature, you know, all of this stuff, when you look at natural selection, you know, it's not normal because, pe you know, people, animals are made to copulate, make babies, make offsprings. And th from that concept, yeah, it's not normal and should not be pushed as normal and it should not be pushed as standard of society. Because if, let's say, there is way too many gay people, there is way too many transgender people, guess what? We're not going to have babies. 
and our civilization is gonna go you know bye bye <laughs> simple as that you know and that's another thing simplicity simplicity so that's another thing that kind of is like a mind fuck because many people think uh, that they cannot figure things out scientists know better you know you need to listen to an expert to lose weight you need an expert to get healthy you need an expert to get money maybe you need an expert maybe not depending how you look at it but basically a lot of things the way our society is structured that especially with information especially with like uh, official verse like official narrative you need to, it needs to be backed by science it needs it needs to be backed by you know like uh, official sources fact checkers this and that fact checkers are the biggest joke ever what the fuck anyway but you know so m many people are assuming that oh you know i cannot really comprehend this only experts can comprehend this but guess what if you have a simplicity of understanding you can pretty much break down everything into simple terms and almost understand everything pretty profoundly but if you don't have that notion that you can actually understand almost everything out there if you want to be super healthy you need inform expert information here and there i'm not saying no yes you need it but you can uh, listen you know you can get some expert information here and there and break it down for yourself uh, break it down to simple level and understand it for yourself and you at some point within even months even weeks sometimes you can break break things down for yourself and you you can be like a professional crossfitter or you know basically we can achieve just about anything and unfortunately the the like a uh, specified you know expert type of mentality type of thing or if you're not scientist you're not credible this and that all of this in my opinion is kind of fallacy and it's stifling our progress because we all humans have huge potential and we all are capable of really great grandiose things the only one of the biggest uh, things that stifle this is basically that notion that oh you need need to be an expert you need to have you know like a uh, bunch of studies behind this all of this you, you know like it, it needs to be backed by science it needs to be it needs to go through a study this and that but once again even science in many instances is very biased paid for and you know it just huge hypocrisy within this whole idea but that's the thing we need to trust ourselves and if we trust ourselves and we can self-educate we can be uh, we can get to optimal health we can get to optimal nutrition optimal physical uh, shape optimal living condition we can grow our own food we can hunt our own food we can be self-sustainable so we can uplift each other we can make each other better and we can make this world better why that's not happening why all of this stuff is not taught in school maybe because somebody would not have profit out of it and it's maybe in it's not in somebody's interest because it's kind of obvious all of this stuff should be taught in school you know finances self-sustainability right even things like doing your taxes running a family you know having like a responsible uh even like cultural values uh, uh, values etiquette all of this stuff all of this stuff even like dietary uh, you know what to eat what not to eat how to think all of this stuff should be taught in school literally from the youngest age possible why all of this stuff is not really taught in school certain things are here and there but you know it's all scattered all over the place and like the, the bigger things like critical thinking this and that is 
you might get some of it in college but probably not even not so much maybe private schools if you pay pay some super crazy amount of money and all of this stuff should be taught in school you know we, we should be taught in school to optimize our body mind and soul literally because it's uh, for benefit of us all not only f for your own benefit it's for benefit or on us of us all as a humanity we could be a superior human race and you know when you don't have insecurities when you don't have issues with your temper all of this sort of stuff all of those imbalances you are contempt you don't really have an issue with hate you don't have an issue that somebody has this somebody has that that's another problem with money you know when you start comparing yourself you you know that's like the easiest way to lose cool you know you should only compare yourself to yourself and maybe to like a uh, role models that you look up to people that have something to contribute to people that you that can help you grow in your life but comparing yourself that oh somebody has something and you don't that's just fucking stupid straight up period contemplate on it i'm not even gonna <laughs> go deep into it because it's straight up stupid <laughs> things like comfort zone that's another big issue to it all people like to stick within their comfort they they want uh, you know convenient truths and you know when we're talking real truth not so much you know double standard hypocrisy look back into three years of our existence into the past and you can tell what i'm saying has some uh, has some merit to it yeah and once again let me just repeat this um it's all about balance you know and unfortunately going back to the money i believe the money system is not about balance it's about abuse of power and please contemplate on it let me not go deeper into it yeah you know so once again the comfort all of this stuff is bad and and it makes you resist facing the truth facing your demons and you know doing hard things uh, it makes you resist that but guess what all of this is good for you and once again indulgence comfort and you know like abusing drugs you know going into you know never ending internet scrolls never ending social media scrolls you know likes all this vanity bullshit you know and actually i almost for forgot that and that's a pretty big point we also our a lot of our role models are all fucked up the john depp thing this guy I don't even pay attention to him at all but i you know i seen some crazy stuff and you know him and her they all fucked up and you know for there is a huge chance most of the hollywood is all fucked up it's like deranged people pretty much right and that's what we are looking up to and on top of it they are all fucking fake definition of an actor is a fake person because they play a role and we're looking up to those people so imagine like even those fundamental things when you start breaking them down once again simplicity of understanding if just the beginning of the beginning you just uh, understand that all actors are fake and they're playing a role and you know they pretend to be this bigger than life this and that and re in reality they are deranged and the same thing with uh, oligarchs billionaires you know when you want to acquire so much money you cannot even spend it for the rest of your life and you still want more power more money that's a definition of madness and it's a definition of a psychopath and we looking up to those people and we looking up to hollywood people that are just fake pretentious all of this stuff what is going on once again disconnected from nature and disconnected from ourselves and you know if you think i talk too much shit this and that i do apologize because i'm not really to uh, like i was saying i'm not here to polarize but i've been really thinking about all of this and i just want to share all of this because and i hope i kind of 
it's not too scattered of an uh, information and i know a lot of this uh, what i'm saying is all over the place but basically this is such a multi-layer issue it literally uh, needs to be broken down into a book to kind of present it in a manner that doesn't seem scattered and also obviously the way i speak the way i digress and go on different tangents here and there it's also make it more difficult but yeah but our fundamental values the way modernity is is basically upside down you know things that we value are basically you know uh, making us worse downgrading making us depressed unhappy unfulfilled and also you know things like economy politics uh, things like uh, super hyper inflation <laughs> you know one way or another however you look at it all this inflation issue has been brewing for years and literally it has been created deliberately and people are like oh my god what's going on with inflation there have been many people that have been aware of inflation for years now and guess what people in government have been aware of inflation way more than anybody else out there and guess what they pass in trillion billion billions and uh, billions of dollars here and there war this uh, relief this relief that destroying small business all of this sort of stuff all coincidence right and now everything is you know like all of this is popping right and left and no accountability no responsibility you know all of this is crazy and one thing another thing i want to talk about when you're facing yourself you're starting with yourself you need accountability you need responsibility you need to do hard things you you need to take risks you need to basically go for hard things and not settle for comfort if you're settling only for comfort and you're only seeking comfort this and that you are basically like a shadow of yourself in order to be fulfilled you need to challenge yourself and when you challenge yourself you grow as a person you grow as an individual your mind grows your soul grows your body grows maybe not literally but basically you grow as a human on pretty much every aspect possible maybe not physically you don't really grow inches but if you you know work on improving and you know doing and facing adversity it's all beneficial if you only stick to comfort and all of that stuff basically it is a no-no all of this stuff also another thing that applies to all of this stuff and it's another like a blanket thing our history we as humans we don't even know our history to begin with we cannot even tell exactly how long is our civilization we cannot even really recall who like officially in egypt you know pyramids were built by this guy that guy this and that but this can be very easily uh, you know contested this and that uh, 10 years ago the oldest civilization so-called uh, modern like a uh, advanced civilization was like 5000 years ago uh, now the oldest so-called civilization that was advanced you know agriculture this and that is like twice that age and you know all of this keeps on changing so what i'm saying is we don't even know those things we don't know ourselves even so what i'm saying is as a default even if you're super intelligent if, even if you have everything figured out you don't know that much you know so and you know that's another thing our arrogance just because we have technology that is becoming smart just because technology technically speaking is smart does not mean we are smart in my opinion thanks to technology we are digressing and there is this movie idiocracy please if you never saw it watch it because it's literally a documentary and that's what's happening right now we are digressing and we are digressing fast and i talked about uh, a book uh, from german philosopher nietzsche i don't remember his first name beyond good and evil it's like a hundred year old book 
and I was talking about uh, that people in the past actually were more articulate and more advanced in their understanding and thinking and even art, all of this sort of stuff. People in the past were more advanced and basically we are digressing as we speak and technology is making our lives com uh, more convenient but we are not getting more intelligent, we are not getting basically we are digressing on every level possible even physically you know we growing man boobs <laughs> you know broken backs uh, inflammation all this sort of stuff and we need to face that we seriously need to face that because if we don't face it you know we are facing most likely like a collapse of civilization and you know if that's the case even let's say okay it's you know it's inevitable and it's going to happen anyway at least you need to prepare you know you need to learn how to hunt you need to learn how to survive you need to learn how to you know grow grow your own food shelter weapons you know so maybe you can maximize your chances of survival right so yeah history is a big one i'm not going to go into it i have episodes about history but please look into forgotten history and you know basically the nuances of history because history that we have is written by winners and when you have a history written by winners that history is very heavily manipulated and oftentimes it's quite far from actual history and like I was saying, basically, this is the end. I hope, roughly speaking, I covered everything. Once again, the big problem with all of this is basically we are disconnected from ourselves and from nature. And if we are disconnected from ourselves and na nature, all of those issues arises. And unfortunately, everything is stacked against us because we are brought up from the youngest age to follow and you know we are taught to just believe the authorities authorities uh, we are you know schooling system teaches us how to be a co uh, you know not how to produce and be self-sustainable they teach us how to follow they teach us how to consume they teach us how to be a good worker and you know follow uh, and how to follow instruction right so yeah and all of the uh, this breeds you know and also group think mentality the money system you know the, like the vanity all of this stuff also is not helping and all of this breeds double standard perspectives hypocrisy you know all of this is just the name of today existence mother virtue for example, you know, like this model of virtue of hypocrisy, this and that, you know, and I know somebody could get offended by this, but I already said that and I'm going to repeat it, you know, uh, back in the day to be a hero, you would really have to do something to be a hero. Nowadays, to be a hero is as easy as triple masking, triple jabbing and sitting on the couch aggressively. Contemplate on it, people. And believe it, even if you take me from the wrong side, bad side, good side, I mean very well and I'm sharing this. I, I, I'm sharing because I'm caring and I really want to share this because in my opinion, this is a very valuable information. If I gave you anything interesting, anything you were not aware of or I showed you some sort of perspective that maybe gave you like a new insight please like this share this spread this because you know we live in a crazy time and we really need to face it we cannot deny it and pretend new normal is normal no that's fucking bullshit the new normal is bullshit and if you believe in new normal you supporting big pharma you supporting oligarchs and you supporting tyranny straight up thank you very much Truly love you. Be safe out there. Think for yourself. Logic, critical thinking, self-understanding, yoga, meditation, Eastern philosophies, even things like 
certain religious principles, no matter how stupid that sounds. Also, you know, ancient teachings, uh, even uh, crazy things like, um, uh, how you say it, numerology. I don't know how to say that exactly. <laughs> I should have uh, trained myself how to say that word. Also, even stupid stuff, is, uh, technically speaking, because I don't really think it's that stupid, like horoscope, all this stuff. I know me saying this is not doing myself a favor, but that's the thing. We live in an upside down world and things that are supposedly obvious are not so obvious and oftentimes are counterproductive, you know. So in upside do down world, the things that are supposedly good are, it seems they are more counterproductive and things that are bad oftentimes are good. And all of this shit is crazy. Let me just give you one example with food, right? For years and years, they've been saying people, you know, the guidance, food guidance, dietary guidance, been telling you fat is bad. It turns out that good source of fat, animal fat, obviously, preferably ground fed and, you know, like uh, coconut oil, unrefined, uh, avocado, butters, the good fat is amazing for you and it's necessary, crucial for good body, mind development. And we have been taught for years that it's it's a bad thing. And on the other hand, you know, like vegetable oils, margarines, all this stuff. At some point they were saying it's good and healthy and now it turns out is just straight up poison. And that's why that's why I say this, because once again, upside down, things that supposedly are good, not so much. And things that are supposedly bad, it seems it could be that they are way better. So just be skeptical and basically also test things on yourself instead of believing somebody else. Believe, don't believe me. Like I always say that, but let me repeat it. Don't believe me, don't trust me, think for yourself and you do your own experiments on yourself. But do not trust blindly anyone, you know, just have your own understanding, have your own critical thinking and evaluate reality for yourself. And when you are strongly, critically thinking individual, that's the best thing you can do for yourself and also for society. Why this is not taught in school, I don't know. I kind of know, but I just don't want to say it. Be safe. Peace out. Love you. Bye-bye.